Hey guys, it's Brett. I'm here with a homeworks haul. I have my first spring 2022 haul from homeworks. They had a sale this past week. I think it was, was it Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday? The, um, what's today? Today's 13th. So that was the 12th, 11th, 10, 9, 8, the 8th, 7th or 8th, February 7th and 8th. I think it was, I think it was maybe the 8th. I don't remember. It was either the 7th or the 8th. Um, I know it was the 8th for sure, but it might have been the 7th. I cannot remember. That's too far behind for me. So, I ordered them. They had them on sale. Buy three, get one free. And then $5 shipping. And then you could also use any points that you have. And I had some points to use. So, I got four candles for $59, basically. It was 54 and then $5 shipping made in 59. So I basically got uh, 54 divided by 4, 13.50. 13.50 each for the these candles. So that's like really cheap. <laughs> Included, like I said, my points I had in there, I took off and I, I was able to get some money out for that. Um, and then, so with shipping it was 59. So 59 divided by 4, 14.75 is what I ended up paying for them after shipping for for each of the candles really good deal because usually when the sales and stuff the cheapest you can get them is right around 20 ish to a little under sometimes 18 sometimes but 13 that's really good deal so i one had ordered four like i said uh two of them are returning cents and two of them are new cents so i got them pretty fast i ordered them tuesday and i got them saturday so that's pretty good fast shipping uh, homeworks.shop is what they were on sale on. Um, in case you're new to homeworks, homeworks are sold on QVC and they're sold on homeworks.shop. And they also have some at Ulta stores and Ulta.com, but I'm not, I've heard they may need not be doing that anymore. But I think they're still on Ulta.com right now, I think. But some stores aren't carrying them. My stores never did carry them here. But then they're also popping up like at some TJ Maxx and Marshalls and things. So check there. I haven't checked mine yet, so I don't know if they mind carrying them, any of them there. But yeah, mostly, most majority of them are on QVC. And then now homeworks.shop is getting quite a bit more in. They didn't have as much at first, but they are getting some more in, so that's good. But homeworks.shop ships through FedEx. And I got this box, like I said. I ordered them Tuesday evening, like late Tuesday evening, and I got it. Saturday, so that was only about what four days, three, four days. So it was really good, really fast. So I'll open up the box here. I haven't opened up any of these because I wanted to get my first impressions online, even though two of them I've had before, they're returning, and two of them are new. So here's what they're it's like inside the box. Sorry, Phoebe. Phoebe's laying down here by me. This have a bunch of paper in the top of the box here. To take all that paper out and then they have your packing slip right here and then inside oh, this box is heavy you got your four candles like that so let me open them up here and this is the box it says homeworks on the side by Slatkin & Co. Since they're now by Slatkin & Co. It said homeworks by Harry Slatkin. They got their name back, Slatkin & Co. Harry got that name back, so it, now they say homeworks by Slatkin & Co. Instead of by Harry Slatkin. And then it says, uh, has a little Instagram thing here. It says homeworks candles. And then uh, Facebook says homeworks by Slatkin & Co. And then fragile, this end up. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go ahead and open up this one first. This is a new one. I'll start out with the two new ones first. Because of course, those are the ones I'm most excited about. Well, there is one returning one that I'm really excited that came back. But I love the new scents because it's always exciting to smell a new scent. Oh, let me show you here. So then you open the box and it's got the little cardboard cover in there. Take that out, and then there's the candle sitting down inside the another little cardboard there. 
And this first one here is one I'm really excited about, pink lemon shortbread. And look at that picture. That picture alone is worth getting the candle for because it looks delicious. You got the shortbread cookies there with the pink like icing drizzle on there. All the way around. And then it's just got the silver lid with the hair cycle monogram as always. And that picture just looks so good. So and then oh also, of course, it's Harry it's uh sorry, homeworks by Slatkin and Co. down here is what it says now. So it says Slatkin and Co. So I know that Harry talked about he got the Slack and the rights to the Slatkin and Co. name back. And then a lot of people thought that he was going to be be bringing back Slatkin and Co. scents from back and bo from back then Body Works, the old scents. So I'm hoping he will. And he just, I, I he gets the homeworks candles to say Slatkin and Co. But then I think he's also going to be doing some old Slatkin and Co. scents eventually. But nobody knows for sure where they're going to be sold at or anything, or if they're going to be four wicks, three wicks, what's going to happen. So that maybe will happen sometime this year, hopefully. Um, I didn't have any of those Slack and Co. scents. That was before I started getting into candles. So a lot of those will be all new to me. All right, Pink Lemon Shortbread is Pink Lemon, Vanilla Shortbread, Sugared Citron, and Buttercream Swirl. I'm kind of curious to see if this is like Limoncello Cupcake because it kind of sounds like it could be similar, but we'll see. So inside you got the little, oh gosh, oh wax is falling all over. Sometimes you got little wax shavings all in there. You can see there. Oops. It has some wax shavings in there. You got your cover and then you got your little dust cover in there. Peanut is getting all in my box here. I have an open box, so Peanut's gonna get in it. All right, so let's see what it's like. Oh, that's really good. It is somewhat similar to lemon shell cupcake, but I feel, I feel like I get more bakery in here. I feel like it's not quite as lemony as that is. Lemon shell, lemon shell cupcake is, bleh. lemon shell cupcake is very lemon strong, and then you get like bakery cupcake, but this. I had heard that there's more bakery in this, and I agree. I do get that shortbread bakery note in there, and I feel like, almost feel like that's first, and then the lemon is underneath that, which I'm fine with because I love bakery. Oh, I really like that. Yes, pink lemon. Um, You know, I kind of maybe think it is kind of a little, I feel like pink lemon is a little, to me, I feel like, pink lemon, you know, like pink lemonade and everything, I feel like that's a little bit more sugary and sweet. I kind of feel like I do get a little more of a pink lemon, like a sugary lemon. I've always felt like pink lemonade was a little more sugary and sweet, to me anyway. I feel like that kind of get that. And then vanilla shortbread, yes, of course, like I said, sugar citron, yeah, you get that citrus note in there, and then buttercream swirl. Yeah, you get all that. That's really good. I almost say, I think I like this better than lemon cello cupcake. Let me get my lemon cello cupcake real, real quick here so I can compare. All right, so I got lemon cello cupcake, cupcake right here. I cannot talk lately. I don't know what the deal is. Lemon cello cupcake, this just came out last year. They brought it back in this packaging here, which I love with the cupcakes on there. And that reads that limoncello, Sicilian lemons, candied lemons, creamy vanilla, and cupcakes. So you definitely, you got the vanilla again and the cupcake, bakery note. This is shortbread and this is cupcake. Um, but you have a lot of lemon. You got limoncello, you got Sicilian lemons, you got candied lemons, and then pink lemon shortbread just has pink lemon. And then sugar citron. And then you got the vanilla shortbread and then buttercream swirl. So let me smell it. Yes, way more lemony. Lemon shell cupcake is so much stronger on the lemon note. Yeah, it's like, on cold, you barely get any of that bakery cupcake. You get a little bit of it way underneath that lemon, but it's not as strong on cold. When you burn this, that bakery note does come out more, but on cold, 
is super strong on the lemon. But lemon, or pink lemon shortbread, yeah, that bakery really comes out on cold. Yeah, it's like the opposite. The bakery's first and then the lemon's underneath that, which I'm fine with, like I said, because I I love bakery, so I think actually on cold, I like this one a little bit better. I'm hoping, uh, lemon shell cupcakes are really good performing, so I'm hoping this does well. And if that bakery note comes out even more, I may like this better because, like I said, I love bakery. All right, so that's pink lemon shortbread. Very pleased with that. All right, next up we have the second new one here. And this one is white sand verbena. And I love the packaging on this. I just love the look of that. And of course, I mean, the water of the ocean there is beautiful. But then I like the white on the bottom like that. I like the contrast of that white and then the picture above there. I just think it looks really pretty. And I like the little uh, cursive writing right there. It says Santa Candle, right? Yes. White sand verbena scented candle and then homeworks by Slatkin and Cole underneath that. But I like the way that looks. It just looks really nice with that white on the bottom there and the picture on the top. I just like the looks of that. That blue water is so pretty. Anyway, then the same lid. And then um, it was four wicks white wax. And uh, I think my shortbread one was too. Well, this, sorry. The pink lemon shortbread had yellow wax. And white sand verbena says verbena flower, lemon zest, amber crystals, and sandalwood. So we'll have a floral note and then lemon, amber, and sandalwood. Okay, that's good. It's a little light though. I'm getting the lemon. I get the lemon and the amber kind of right off. Yeah, but it's kind of light on cold. Let me rub my finger on here to warm it up a little bit. Okay, yeah. That's nice. I do like that. Like I said, I do get that lemon. I really get the lemon zest and the amber crystals. Um, I don't get... It says verbena flower. I don't really get a strong floral note in this. It could be just lightly in there, but not just a touch of floral and then a touch of sandalwood too. Cause that sandalwood, it's not like a super strong sandalwood, but I really get that lemon and that amber, but I think maybe the floralness and the sandalwood are just kind of smooth in the background there blended with that. It's nice. It's really nice and fresh. Mm, yeah, I haven't had a scent like this for a while, so I think I'll enjoy this. That is a white sand verbena. Okay, now I have two that are returning. These were actually out before, but they're really good. So I had to get them again. There's this one here. These are all the same pack uh, boxes. We have Berry Trifle. It's finally back. This was out, gosh, was it 2018? I can't remember. 2017 or 2018. I'll check my phone here in just a second. But look at the label. The label is so, looks so good. The last very trifle just had the, like the, like the uh, fuchsia pinkish stripes down the uh, candle lit, uh, jar. This actually has a picture of the trifle. I love trifles. I make trifles all the time. And this looks like a trifle that I make in the summertime that has like strawberries, blueberries, and like Cool Whip in there. The shortbread looks exactly like a trifle I make for 4th of July. Yeah, and it's all the way around. Same silver lid. This one has four wicks white wax. Let me check real quick when it came out. Okay, four years ago exactly. It was February of 2018 it came out. And I have my review right there. Oopsie. Oh, that's a text. Sorry. Brad was texting me. Yeah, right there. Very trifle. I reviewed that uh, February of 2018. So it's been four years since this has been out. 
So let me take the dust cover and everything off there so I can smell it. Where's the lid? Oh. I love that jar. So pretty. Berry Trifle says raspberries, wild blueberries, strawberries, blueberry, or sorry, raspberries. I can read raspberries, wild blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, vanilla pound cake, and Grand Marnier sauce. So we got lots of berries in this thing. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good to smell this again because I haven't smelled it for four years. This is so good. I mean, if you get any homeworks, probably out of all these I have here, get this one. It's so good. You can't go wrong with berry trifle. It's amazing. Yeah, you will get all those berries. Strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries, right? Yeah. I mean, you get a mixture of all that. You don't get any certain one over the other one. They're, they're all mixed in so well. God, it's amazing. And then you get the pound cake. Yeah, that bakery note's in there. The bakery note, I will say, comes out even more when, it, when you're burning it on this one. And then you get that Grand Marnier sauce. It it's just really blends really well with that. It's amazing. I love it. I'm thinking maybe I should have got another one of these. I, ugh, if I really, really love one, I will get another one, like you said. Or if you watch, like I said in my empties video, if you watch my last empties video, I, I said that I tend to like just buy a lot of the new stuff because I don't like, um, I'm afraid I'm gonna get burnt out if I buy a whole bunch of the same scent. I know a lot of people really do that. A lot of people buy tons of backups if they like something really well. But I feel like sometimes if I do that, I just, I'll tend to get a little tired of it. And I'm like, I don't want to burn myself on on it. So I don't want to get too many. I might get like a one or two, you know, extra ones. Or if I like it, I'll get it again. But I don't want to get a whole bunch of backups. Because I just feel like I'll make myself sick of it. Wax smells is a little bit different because wax smells only lasts like a few days. So can candles will last like a week to two weeks, depending on how long you burn them. So you tend to like can get sick of the same scent over and over again with candles faster than you can wax melts. But this one I would definitely think I'd get a, get another one. I mean I did. I repurchased this because I love it so much, but it's been four years since I've had it. If I do get him, I tend to like wait a little while and get it again, rather than like get a bunch that I don't I don't want to burn them all at the same time so much. But yes, it's so good. Mmm. Really good. Alright. Let me open the last one here. But yeah, so I don't usually buy a whole bunch of backups and I don't, um, because I bought all the new ones. So unfortunately, I don't make enough money. My job that I work at to where I can buy a bunch of the, of the new ones and then buy a bunch of backups, I just don't, I just can't afford it. I, I, I'm super jealous of all the people I see that buy tons of backups and stuff. I wish I could do that, even though I'm afraid I get sick of the scent, so I may not. But I would probably buy a little bit more than I do now, but I have to be a little bit frugal with my spendings because... I'm just a little postal worker. I don't make a whole bunch of money. I mean, I'm comfortable, don't get me wrong, I'm, but I'm just saying, you know, I can buy candles. I definitely buy candles and wax melts and stuff, but I just, I have to save some money to go other places and I'm not gonna like just spend them all on tons of candles because I don't make enough money to do that, unfortunately. So I gotta be frugal with what I spend my money on. All right, so next up is coconut cake. And this was out before and it's back. And it has the coconut cake on your real pretty label with the coconut cake. And this was out as well with the stripes before. And this has the same silver lid. Four wicks white wax. Coconut cake reads toasted coconut, coconut milk, whipped cream, buttercream frosting, baked cake, and pecan. Yeah, this is really good. It smells exactly like what a coconut cake would smell like. Definitely get the coconut, of course. You get the coconut, toasted coconut. It is like toasted coconut, like toasted coconut shavings, you know, the toasted coconut shavings. Yeah. Uh, coconut milk, you can get that. You get the whipped cream, buttercream, frosting. Yeah, you get the frosting on there with the toasted coconut on there. You get the baked cake part of it. Yeah, you get the bakery, the frosting, and the toasted coconut. Toast of coconut on top. Basically, what I what I get the mostly is just a cake cake note with frosting, buttercream frosting, toast of coconut on the top of it. What else did it say? Whipped cream. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think I get a little more frosting than like whipped cream. Maybe a mixture of that kind of um, pecan. 
I don't really get pecan in here. And I don't think I remember, if I remember when I burned it, I didn't get a whole lot of pecan. So this is really good. I've had it before and it performed really well for me before. All right, so that is it for the four that I ordered from the cell and homeworks shop. And now I'm gonna show you also, homeworks did send me some five candles for uh, PR to share with you all. These candles are new on the website, on the homeworks.shop website. So I'm gonna share with you the ones that they sent me. And these are all available, like I said, on the homeworks.shop websites. First up, let's see, we have one here. This has been out for quite a while and they just now added it to the homeworks.shop website. It's Hot Cider Donut. This one's amazing, everybody loves it. It's got the donuts all around there. Not gonna go too much over these because I don't want my video to be super, super long, but they always are anyway. It's got four wicks. I already took the dust covers off these. I've already smelled these because I got these uh, a couple of days ago. So yeah, hot cider donut is harvest apple, cinnamon sugar, vanilla bean, spice cider. Amazing, just good. It's like a, it's like a fried cinnamon sugar donut is what it's like. I don't really get any apple in there. It says harvest apple, I don't get apple. I don't really get cider, but I get a fried cinnamon sugar donut is what I get with this one. Performs really good, throws is amazing on that one, love it. So that is on the Homer Stout Shop website. Uh, next up, Enchanted Peony. This was out in um, spring of 2018 from Homeworks. And now they brought it back. It's got the peonies all on there. And then it's got the silver lid as well. And it's got kind of a, no, it's, I want to say it looks a light, light pink or is that white? I can't quite tell. I think it's a really light pink color. Let's see. Yeah, it is. It's a real light pink color. So this one here doesn't say, these are returning from, like these were out 2018, like I said, but these, I think they're made new, but they don't say Homeworks by Slatkin & Co. They just say Homeworks by Harry Slatkin on the bottom there. And I looked online at some of the other ones that are returning, that are about to come out, that have been out before. Those say Homeworks by Slatkin & Co., but these ones from 2018 that they brought back just say by Harry Slatkin on there. I just kind of noticed that. Enchanted Peony reads, Velvet Peony, Pink Camellia, Leafy Greens, Fresh Blackberry. Yeah, this is good. Really good floral. Definitely get the peony, but I get rose. I think I remember saying that before when I hauled it, and I think I reviewed it, I think. It smells like peony and rose to me. It doesn't say anything about rose in here, but I, I don't know if that peony just comes off like rose to me, but I get rose. Pink Camellia, maybe it's the Camellia. I don't, I'm not real familiar with Camellia, but that maybe smells kind of rosy like maybe, I'm not sure. And then uh, Leafy Greens, I don't really get greens. I get mostly floral. Blackberry, maybe just a touch of blackberry, but I don't really get that much blackberry either. I mostly get, I smell peony and flo uh, rose is what I smell. Do you say peony or peony? When I was growing up, we always said peony. My mom said peonies. She had peony bushes and she would always call them peonies. And then most of my family said peonies. But then when I started doing candle reviews, everybody started calling them, well, they were calling them peonies. I'm like, I've always called them peonies. But I say peony. I say caramel. I say, what's another one that I recently, oh gosh, what is it? Poinsettia. I say poinsettia, but almost everybody else seemed to be saying poinsettia. I don't know, I've always said poinsettia. Anyway, so Enchanted Peony Peony. It's really good. Really nice, and it, performed, it was really strong too when I had it back in 2018. All right, next, next, next. I'm getting all my candles mixed up here. Pineapple Colada. This is back, and it's got the pineapples and the cherries all on there. Silver lid. It's got like a Gosh, it's hard to tell. I think that's kind of a, it's kind of a beige. I wanted to say light yellow, but I think it's just kind of a beige white, slightly beige colored wax. This one reads, fresh pineapple, coconut milk, Madagascar, vanilla, and tangerine juice. God, this one's good. So good. Coconut and pineapple is basically what I get. It's just like a drink, just like a pineapple colada would be, pineapple and coconut. Mm, yeah, it says vanilla. I don't... Like maybe a touch of vanilla, but it's not a lot of vanilla to me. Tangerine juice, 
Maybe I could get some tangerine. But I don't get a super strong citrus though. I mostly get the coconut with the pineapple. Really good. And then um, it's got the cherries on there, but I think that's just for like, you put the cherry on top of the drink, but it doesn't have any kind of cherry smell to it. Just pineapple and coconut. Really good, juicy pineapple and coconut in that one. And then I think we have two more here. Hold on, hold on, yes, two more. Yeah. We have Mandarin Pink Grapefruit. And I don't think I've ever had the, uh, the Pineapple Colada, I don't think I've ever had that one before. So that'll be first time for me for that one. And this is Mandarin Pink Grapefruit. It's got all the mandarins and the grapefruits all around there. Same, these all have these same silver lids. This one has like a light orange colored wax on this. And Mandarin, this pour looks a little low on that one, does it to me? It looks kind of low, the pour on this one. Just a little bit lower than the other ones. Yeah, I like that coconut cake. Look at the pour on that coconut cake. If you can see that. It's pretty high. And then this one, it's pretty low compared to that coconut cake. I don't want to mix my lids up. Wrong lid. Okay. So, Mandarin Pink Grapefruit reads, Mandarin Pink Grapefruit Orange Peel and White Amber. Yeah, this is a really good grapefruit scent. I get the grapefruit right away. And then I think the Mandarin is after that. The really good grapefruit. And it's funny because I don't like grapefruit at all, but I like the smell of it. I don't like the taste of it though, it's so bitter. I, ugh, I do not like grapefruit. I haven't had it for a long time, maybe I need to try it again and see. Yeah, so the Mandarin, Pink Grapefruit, Orange Pill and Amber. I could maybe get a little bit of Orange Pill. I don't really get much Amber. It could maybe be in there, but if it's just real subtle, maybe to like give it a little bit of a... I don't know. It could slightly kind of be underneath there, but yeah, I mostly get Grapefruit and Mandarin. That's really good. Excited to try that, and I've never had that before either. I think that one and the pineapple colada are the only two that I hadn't had before out of those five that are returning the homework sent me. And now we have Driftwood is the last one. This was out, uh, I think last year was the first year? Or was it the year before too? I think, I thought last year was the first year this was out. But I didn't have it, so I haven't had this one either. I did think about getting it last year, but I never did. So this lid, uh, jar is really pretty. It's got the ocean and the sand beach there. Same lid, and this has got like a blue, pretty blue wax. Driftwood reads, sun-drenched woods, sandalwood, jasmine, and verbena. So this one's a little, it's, this one's a little bit light to me, but it's, it is a mixture of you kind of get the woods, sun woods. It's not a super, it's just a light wood smell. But I do get that sandalwood. Um, and jasmine and verbena. I think that ja jasmine and verbena kind of is in there a little bit. It's not like super floral or anything. Like jasmine, don't think it's floral because I really don't get like a floralness from them there. I think the jasmine just kind of is in there to help kind of round out that that woodiness and the the sandalwood. I just had a little undertone of the jasmine, maybe. It's nice, though. It's kind of like... It's a little spa-like, kind of. Like something to be soothing and relaxing kind of a scent. Yeah, but it's kind of light on cold. I'm sure maybe it'll be a little bit stronger when burning, hopefully. So that's driftwood. Okay, that's all the candles. The ones that I ordered from the sale, and then the ones that Homer sent me to share with you all to promote that they are now on this website. So, like I said, homeworks.shop. If you go there, that is where these all these candles are at that I just showed you. Um, so let me go here down the list. They have Driftwood, which and Mandarin Pink Grapefruit, Pineapple Colada. Uh, they have Heirloom Orchard is on there, TR Sunrise, Enchanted Peony, Lemon Chill Cupcake, Spun Vanilla Sugar, Chocolate Birthday Cake, Maple Rum Strudel, Woodland Cabin, Country Apple Butter, Jasmine, and then we have these three scents that are coming soon. Jasmine and White Peach, 
Lily of the Valley and Coastal Water Lily. Those have been out before and they're, re they're coming, returning, but they're not on there yet. Um, those are the ones that said homework by Slack. Can can go on the jar on the picture here, even though they're returning, but the other ones returning ones didn't have, they had Harry Slacken on there. Uh, and then we have the Three Wicks, uh, Cozy Weekend and Persimmon Nectar. Uh, then we have Honeycrisp Orchard, Tree Farm Lane, Coconut Cake, Kiwi Margarita is back, Pink Lemon Shortbread, White Sangria Candle, or White Sangria is back, White Ginger Lily, that's new. I almost got that one instead of the Coconut Cake, but I went for the Coconut, coconut Cake instead because I, I know I really like that. Brett Phil Cannibal did say White Ginger Lily is really good, though he bought that. Uh, Lotus Flower is back. Fresh Georgia Peach, I believe that's new. And then White San Bermino, of course. So right now they have a sale right now on the website. They don't have the buy three, get one free anymore, but they do have buy three for $63. So that will be 63 divided by three. It's $21 each on that sale. And then they have free shipping. Free shipping up on orders up to $250. So as long as you don't spend over $250, if you spend over $250, you gotta pay shipping. But if you don't spend $250, which I probably most people won't, unless you're gonna pay place a massive order, you'll get free shipping. And then if you use my code, I have an affiliate code, and you can use my code and you'll get 10% off your order, an extra 10% off your order, and my code is 2GATEADS. So it's the number two and then GATEADS, all caps. Type that in. You, you, when you check out too, also, if you have your cart and you add your stuff to your cart, there's at the very bottom, there's a like coupon promo code little box. Put that 2 gate ads in there before you check out because if you do it afterwards, it won't activate. So make sure you put that in there before you hit, hit the checkout key. And then it'll take 10% off your order. All right, so thanks for watching my haul of the new scents, and then um, I think I think I want to burn that pink uh, pink lemon shortbread first because I really want to see how that one does. All right, so thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you all in our next video. Bye.